Hey guys, it's Chantel from Idaho Water Sports. Today we're gonna go over the Malibu's new 2019 22 LSV. It's really similar to their best selling 23 LSV. It's just a little bit smaller for people who don't need quite that much space. So we're gonna head on over to the back and I'll show you some of the good stuff. All right, new for 2019, Malibu's come out with the Power Wedge 3. It's a little bit bigger hydrofoil than what they had on the Power Wedge 2 and gives you a little more usable settings. Uh, lift mode still works the same way, gives you negative 500 pounds of ballast. And then the surf pipe here is actually tucked behind the Power Wedge this year. So rather than coming in front, keeps it a little more out of the way and it's all built into one system. So on the back, we still have the nice cushy seats that open up and give us some storage bins back here, ropes, gloves, flip flops, anything like that that you wanna tuck away, but you still have some nice comfortable seating while you're hanging out and lounging. Cup holders back here. There's an optional transom remote that you can get so you can control the stereo from the back. Uh, it's just a nice hangout area. All right, so one cool change they made this year for the 22 LSV, they've mirrored what they did on the 23 LSV by making the, the rear ballast tanks, rather than just a flat tank, it's an L-shaped ballast tank. So not only is the tank a little bit bigger, but it makes the, the float inside of the tank a little more accurate even when you're using plug and play. By the time that float gets to the top of the L-shaped ballast tank, your ballast bag is gonna be full back here as well. So it's a little more usable, makes the screen a little more accurate even when you're, when you're looking at your plug and play. Uh, it also takes advantage of some of that space up in the gunnel. So some of that wasted space in there, uh, now it's actually, they've used it for something, which is really cool. So you have your rear hard tanks. We plumb them for plug and play, which you don't have to do that, but I'd recommend it if surfing is what you want to do. Uh, it has a center hard tank that's in the walkway in front, and then a hard bow tank as well. Uh, with the wedge, plug and play, hard ballast tanks, you have about 4,200 pounds of ballast in this boat. It's pretty impressive. So you have a much deeper warming tray over the engine compartment than you had in previous years. That's nice because you can fit a couple vests and a couple wetsuits in there or even more ropes, just more gear right there on top of the, on top of the engine. The engine this year, this is a little bit of a unique year for Malibu. You can get, right now you can get their tried and true Monsoon 409 PCM built engine or now you can go with their M5 direct injection engine or the M6 direct injection engine. Uh, they're just starting to release more specs about that. Uh, we haven't even gotten one in the shop yet, but as soon as we do, we'll run through it and I'll give you guys an idea of what, what that engine is like. They've kept the pop-up pylon here, so for those of us who like to ski, you can pop that up, use it when you want it, and then tuck it back out of the way when you don't want to use it. This particular boat is a diamond hull. We also can order them in a wake hole, so you can get one or the other. Diamond hole is gonna be great if you want a softer wake for skiing, and wake hole is gonna be better, a little more crisp lip for a wake order. So you have your options with this boat. Malibu's G3.5 tower is what comes standard on this boat. You can also upgrade it to the G10 power tower if you know you're gonna be putting the tower down, you wanna be able to tow with it down, that's a really great option. But the standard tower, still really easy to put down. Just turn this latch, turn the other one on the other side and the whole thing just folds down. Swivel board racks, they give you three positions here. This is great when you're actually using it, you're putting a board away. When you're towing, this is awesome because you have way less surface area for bugs to be hitting. And then when you're actively running the boat with boards in it, you can put the racks out to the side so they're not in the way. Okay. One cool change they made this year, uh, not only is this one big seat, one big compartment, but they did change uh, the hinge on the seat. So rather than having a gas shock that might get in the way when you're putting stuff inside the compartment, they put the hinges on the far sides so it makes it easy to put stuff away. You're not gonna be bumping into that gas shock, makes it easy to pull the cooler out and change out the trash can bag, anything like that. On the other side, it makes it a lot easier to fit a ski or a board down in there because you don't have the gas shocks in the way. Cup holders back here with a 12 volt outlet. And then same on the other side, we've got cup holders, we have a 12 volt outlet and there's a USB, uh, a USB charging port so you can plug in two phones on that side. The 22 LSV has a flip up wake view seat. This is optional, you don't have to get it on this boat, but it's nice if you know you want, uh, want to have some rear view seating. 
You can also get that big wake, wake view bench. It's a little tight in this boat with it, uh, but it's still, I mean, if you know you want to use it, it, it still works in this boat for sure. Like they did last year with the 23 LSV, they've moved the batteries in this boat from your underneath your observer seat up into the bow. So that does a couple things. Not only does it give you more weight up front, uh, it takes some place of your bow tank, but it's still a lot more weight in the bow of the boat, but it also gives you one long storage compartment here. So when I open up all of these seats, it's one long storage compartment. This is great if you want to tuck a couple skis in here, if you want to put a wakeboard or surfboards. We have the cover in here now, but this is just one huge storage space that you can tuck everything. There's a drain down in the bottom there, so if you put wet stuff in there, it's just going to drain into the bilge and it's going to pump it out. There's a lip right here to, to separate your wet storage from your dry storage. So if you put towels and bags up here, even if you're putting wet stuff underneath in this compartment, it's not going to affect your dry stuff. They've updated the glove box, so giving you a little bit better line of sight as the driver. They flattened it out a little bit. It's a locking glove box. This is where you'd plug in your USB or auxiliary if you wanted to run your stereo that way. The storage compartment here, they've added a flip up seat in the front. So when you access the storage from here, you can also get to it from the bow. So if you have people sitting up front that want to grab a towel or a bag, they can get to it up there without having to come through the boat and have somebody move. Like what they've done in the 25 LSV and the 23 LSV, they've made the windscreen storage up front. So when you want to use it, you just pull it out and slide it in. Uh, easy to access. You don't have to go to the back of the boat by the engine compartment. It just tucks right in there uh, out of the way. This is also where the batteries are put. So you still have your hard ballast tank under there, but the batteries help with some of that, some of that weight. This seat also opens up, gives you a little, a little storage hideaway. Um, people use this sometimes for bags or for shoes. I've even had one guy use it for a cleaning closet. He put all of his cleaners and rags in there. They were tucked up out of the way, but there when he needed them. Across the Malibu line, they've done a full new captain's chair this year. It's really sporty. It tucks you in. It's really comfortable when you're driving. You can, it, it comes with a flip up bolster here and you can opt to have it just slide or swivel and slide. So this year they've moved where the heater hose, uh, the heater hose location. So rather than being up in the walkway there, they moved them back here, making them more usable when you're in the back part of the back part of the boat. So you put in your windscreen, close the windshield. This whole zone is going to heat up pretty nicely, but then you have pull out hoses that can go here or can get all the way to the back part of the boat if somebody's sitting in the back corner. So the dash on this boat is the same across as across the Malibu line. You still get the 12-inch command center and the smaller 7-inch touchscreen, which I'll go more in depth in a different video. Uh, you have your sport dash that you can get that has a phone holder. Now you can also get an optional wireless charging. On this boat, if you did the wireless charging, it would give you a spot right here when your phone is, is sitting here, as well as in this compartment next to the driver's elbow. Uh, Sport Dash will go over when we go over all the screens. Uh, you still have a tilt wheel, so it's comfortable no matter what height person you are. Uh, optional power seat, so if you want to be able to raise and lower it, that's kind of a cool one for short kids like me. Uh, and then the driver dry box, this is the same as previous years. Uh, you can open that up. There's a little USB charging port in there, which is great if that's where you tuck your phone. Great place to put keys. Just a little driver, driver specific storage spot. The wake on this boat is really similar to what you're going to find on the 23 LSV because it's a little bit shorter boat. The wake is naturally going to be a little bit shorter, but you still have all of the usable settings like you do on the 23 LSV. You can change it to taller and steeper using the wedge. You can make it longer and less steep. Uh, it just is a really customizable way for, for your whole crew. All right, thanks for watching. This is the Malibu 2019-22 LSV, brand new model this year. As soon as the lakes aren't frozen here anymore, we're going to get out on the water and show you what the wake is like. Uh, it's, you're going to be impressed. It's awesome. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, anything like that. I'm happy to help. Thanks.